Hey, what's up, collective? Welcome to the Lighthouse Temple of Healing. I am your oracle. What's up? Rose Delphi here. <clears throat> if you are new to my channel, dang, my throat chakra is getting attacked already. <clears throat> Hold up. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel on Instagram as well as YouTube, okay? And um, this is a timeless reading, guys. I'm about to give you guys a timeless reading. But I feel like laughing because I kept hearing that song. Uh, it's like, what it is, ho, oh, what's up? Can a player just keep in touch? And I'm just like, this is, get that out your energy. This is the best time to do so. The solar eclipse, lunar eclipse happening. <clears throat> and again, this is a timeless reading, but use your full moons. Use, just, really, you can do it anytime. Just release, you know? Do some throat chakra um, protection is what I'm hearing. Really just speak your truth and be in your authenticity is what I'm hearing okay so welcome to my channel like I said and if you've been here before what up fam what up soul fam gods and goddesses the royal ones what's up royal ones <laughs> <clears throat> let's get this reading popping holy spirit speak through me for the collective You know, I heard you have to welcome the Holy Spirit in, guys. If you're not, what are you welcoming in your temple is what I just heard. What are you welcoming in your temple? And that goes in, in every different way. In your spirit. In your body. What are you eating spiritually? What are you eating also physically? You guys, I've been <clears throat> working a lot on diet and exercise because it's just as important as the other parts <clears throat> of your Merkaba as your spirit and as your mind it's just as important I don't know why I heard gaslight so that's probably that player energy I don't know why that player energy wants to come through but get thee behind me Satan you know you gotta let that stuff go <clears throat> you know do cord cuttings you don't have to do cord cuttings on specific people if you don't want to. Just do it on energies. Like, we ain't doing no player energies. You guys, this is 2023. We're going to be going into 2024. We're not doing players. Players. We ain't doing players. Okay? Source told me to keep shuffling. So, anyways, welcome, you guys. Hopefully, um, you guys are doing good. Hopefully, you're learning to trust Source and keeping your ten toes down. And keeping your, you know, your eyes on your goals and on your intentions. All right, here we go, guys. Ooh. This says disdained, having contempt for someone. That someone may see you as unworthy. The feeling, so contempt is a feeling that the person is beneath someone or considered worthless. So I'm getting that you may have dealt with a lot of different player energies. This is masculine or feminine. Maybe people who have cheated on you, things of that nature. Maybe even best friends that have stabbed you in the back. Um, also like um, siblings, siblings that don't like you. I'm getting the story of Joseph with the coat of many colors. You know, they hate you because you're royal. Like I was calling you royal ones at the beginning of this reading. <clears throat> See, what do they hate? Look at the blue flame. They hate the blue flame. That you are a true person. That you are a genuine soul. That your words and your actions match. That you don't have no discrepancies of intentions in your actions. That your intentions and your actions are of equal integrity. You hear this? You are authentic. 
your integrity grows stronger as you expand and as you shift. And this is what they cannot stand about you. They are disdained. Literally, you have people in your soul tribe that you thought were your soul tribe that really don't like your ass, that are disdained. Look up the word disdained. It means having contempt for someone that you see as unworthy. Like, how are you going to see somebody as unworthy? I don't even see my enemies as unworthy, guys, because that's not for me to judge. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if I don't rock with them, I don't rock with them. But I'm not going to sit there and be like, they're beneath me, you know? No, somebody has made you either feel worthless or unworthy at some point in time. But that is the enemy's work. Because what they really don't like and what they really want to stop is your genuine soul. The fact that you are a true person, somebody that their words and their actions match, that you have no discrepancy of intention or action, that they equally have integrity in your life. And then it even grows stronger. As you expand and shift, your integrity grows stronger. So you become even more true and more genuine. And people, there's people that can't stand that. And so it's like, that's what they didn't even like about Joseph. But here's the funny part. They threw Joseph in the pit, but Joseph had to go to Egypt to fulfill his purpose. Okay. At the time, you know, he didn't know that. His brothers had a disdain for him. They wanted to kill him. They viewed him as the stain in their life. You hear me? They viewed him as the stain in, in their life. And really it was that they didn't like his true, genuine soul and that God had a purpose for him. So I'm getting Virgo energy here as well as Taurus and Gemini. Or you might be a Taurus Gemini cusp or somebody that doesn't, that's somebody that doesn't rock with you that has disdain for you might be a a gemini cusp it says the enemy wants to intercept the destiny through karmic portals they try to get you to fumble the ball whoa so this is spiritual football that's what that's what i'm hearing this is spiritual football because you got the offense and you got the defense here because you have somebody that's on team blue that's going towards righteousness is what i'm hearing and then you have somebody that is given a complete disgust like they're they're sucking their teeth and their lips and being like i don't like this person and it's just because they want to see themselves as better you know and really it's because Satan, the devil, low vibrational entities, they want to get you to latch onto these karmic portals so that they can get you to fumble the ball. The ball to what? To your destiny. But here's the funny part. It says God is the quarterback and the chosen one, which is you, is the receiver. So you're going all the way is what I heard. All the way, all the way to the goal. Okay. Yes. Let's go. I'm going to get a couple more of these and then we're going to end this, you guys. I hope you guys like this reading. This is just a little mini reading. Those full moon energies, guys. Those full moon energies. Those full moon energies. So release what you need to release, okay? It says, so I'm getting Leo energy as well. And you got somebody trying to be all up in your business. I heard, get out my business, my business. Stay the fuck up out my business. Okay? Ludicrous. Somebody might like ludicrous. But I'm getting Leo energy. Also, it says, just like the chosen are hidden in plain sight, so aren't the ops. So stay vigilant. Use your intuition and discernment when dealing with these clones, you guys. I love you guys. I hope you resonated with this. Peace. Hit me up for a personal if you want to. All the information in the bio.